Guess who's back? Good evening and welcome to What No Better, season four, episode 32. And I am joined by the effervescent Smarty and the lovely pod dodging Carl. How are you doing, lads? That's quite All inaccurate, right. to be fair, because I'm the one who's been dodging pods lately. So Absolutely. You are, but you, you can we give you a title. pass. We give you a Sorry. pass. Right. You know, we, yeah. it's more yeah. fun to lay into Carl anyway. So, so, so well, even when I do a load of pods in a row and all that, I still get branded the Dodger. Like, well, yeah. you know. I mean, you have put that as your own name. Only because yeah. uh, Luke did it first and I was like, I can't be arse moving it. <laughs> Hi, this is Don Matteo and then you are listening to the Auto Know Better podcast. Let's do this. <laughs> I like it fucking brawling you're a leader in bastard oh, like. Oh, like some sort of fucking weird floating head no it's a utensil player a bit innit I mean I feel a bit right dickhead nothing spectacular really nothing spectacular that's Millwall this time yep <laughs> very much so are we all are we all happy? Are we all buzzing, lads? We you know another another three points. Ipswich won't fuck off, but we're still doing our thing. That's all we need to do, man. We just need to keep doing our thing. That's, That's it. Just plodding, plodding away. We're doing absolutely wonderfully, aren't we? I am. Oh, we are it. indeed. It's bloody great. I, I just want. Are we still in a slump? I think so. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. you know we only scored two against Millwall, so yeah. I consider that a slump yeah. going off what's been said previously. Yeah, I think I think you might be right. So we're gonna fire into the old uh, predictions, Smarty first up, and I think Gilly oh. sent them to you. So I have are you ready? Are you I am. ready? I am. Auto no better predictions. It's all proper. as you'd expect as well. It's in a bloody spreadsheet, of course. Of, of course it is. <laughs> it sends you little. Um, it sends you little sections yeah. of it. It's great. I love it because I don't have to write. Well, obviously, I don't have to write anything <laughs> down or anything. It's just right. So, anyway, um, from the top, I shall start. There's no particular order here, but just from the top of the spreadsheet. Gilly decided to go 3 1 leads, gets himself three points. Fans went 3 2 leads via Steve Brown and got themselves one point. Um, I went 3 <laughs> 0. I wanted to go 2 0, but I went 3 0. Fucking dipstick. Got myself one. Uh, Luke went 3 1 leads, got himself three. Carl, 4 1 leads, 1 point. Jay, 3 0 leads, 1 point. And Bren, the little shit house that went 2 0 because I went 3 0, has got himself 5 points. No, he, he so went 2 0 first. He went 2 0 first because somebody did, because I was going to go 2 0 as well. So you and me both did the exact same thing and yeah, went yeah. 3 0. I, 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 I want a recount. Used. No, no, Bren actually said that he'd gone 2 0 because he wanted to go 3, but because I, he knew that I'd gone 3 0. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Somebody went by. 2 0 first, anyway. It's by the by. So th- there has been a little shuffle uh, in the top places. However, it relatively is remaining the same. Bren on 50 points is right at the top. He's pipped Gilly by a point on 49. Luke is on 46. I'm on 43. Jay is on 42. Carl is on 36. And right at the very bottom is the fans on 29. You lot need to up your game. <clears throat> is basically I, what is going on here. I had I had a few correct results, but I feel like my late charge has fizzled out. I'm like, uh, like Southampton. Yeah. Look at that, like Steve sums it up here for the fans. No, not the predictions. Mine was garbage. Yeah, you've let everyone Sorry, down Steve, there, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, man, but shame on you, Stephen. A shame on both your houses. <laughs> Unbelievable, Steve. Unbelievable. 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 All right. Well, with that, we'll we'll move on to the old uh, the game itself. So we were all there, weren't we? As per, yeah. we had a, a nice yes. little summit to eat and a, a beer beforehand, and kind of like a, a team bonding exercise. And we all yeah. walked down together to the game, which yeah. I don't think's ever happened in Has the history anyone, of um, OKB. It's never happened. It's never happened. No. Has anyone uploaded one of many pictures that were taken, or is it, have we not bothered to? Uh, to, to I, I haven't regularly. actually. Yeah. I mean, I can I can do this if you really want. Just you'll have to bear with me for a sec, Smart. There's you can two, waffle. There's two, di- there's two different pictures, obviously. There's one where there's a few people being daft. Some I know the one you a want. A little bit bemused. You can show that one if you like. That's pretty good. Oh, is this uh, where I? Oh, okay, yeah. No, th- this, on this one, I think you're okay. 
Oh, well, you either way, you don't give me a which second. One, one or both of you look really pissed off for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just had a terrible point again, so that was what my, my excuse was. That's right, was. it was St. Patrick's Day, and, and uh, the Irishman among us had a really fucking poor pint of as the good old black stuff. So, poor anyway. pint. But yeah, we all had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, it was like Jesus' last meal. It was, was a little it bit. It was a bit like that, yeah, it was a little a bit, bit like that. that. Except it were in weather spoons, and we were all drinking <laughs> ale. But yeah, yeah, we had a, we had a we had a bit of a meetup before the game. Uh, we had a bit of scran. Uh, that's food to you non northern type of people. Uh, had a few pints and a nice wander down. Um, there we it was go. Supposed to be pissing it down, but it wasn't. It was lovely and sunny, so we we're all absolutely sweating buckets by the time we got to the peacock. And there we are. Look, Luke looks great. Look. Proof <laughs> that we were all in the same spot at the one time. I look yeah, proper we angry in that. And we were joined by Bren as well, who's the guy in the middle on the right hand side. Look at it. That that's uh, a face to the man who uh does our shit take of the week promo. That's, that's the face right. of the man. And a good yes, time was had by all. The man Absolutely. behind the voice. So there you go. Cracking so day. there you go. Man behind we the voice. Go in, we can go into it a little bit if you like. The one time that I get to a game early and I miss Luke Ailing in the peacock buying pints, by the way. Yeah. Apparently I'm um, Yeah. You are How's that? No, you heard. You hear me now? That's a bit extreme. Okay, I'll turn that down a little smidge then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be blowing everyone's eardrums out. Jesus Christ! Jesus, that's uh, better. Sorry. That's better. That's better. Right, we'll, we'll stick. We'll yeah. stick with that one. Yeah, but yeah, I missed. Uh, I missed Big Bill buying everyone a pint as per. I miss everyone that does that because I only seem to go in there afterwards. But you know, yeah, good <laughs> well, times. Right? Look, a little look, bit like he had a laugh. And he'd cleared off. He knew. He probably knew that me and Re well, obviously he thought all us lads were going down. He knew us lot wrong way. Better get out of here before OKB lads come and claiming the free mm -hmm. pints, bastards. Well, he might not be able to contain himself if he'd um, met Carl. You know, called him finished about three years ago. Mark mm -hmm. Mark Edison's in the comments <laughs> now. Smarty, he says, <laughs> get that makeshift beard off of Connor Roberts' day, Ellen Yes. Road. Yes. It ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry. It's got to. I'm, I'm it has sorry. to. Man, if I, I like got to. Right. It's not going to happen. If Smarty, I have to come I, to your I, house I, and beat you myself, I will do that. You can beat as I, many stepladders as you like. You will not <laughs> be able to beat <laughs> me. I, I can't even grow proper facial hair, like, so I'm giving it a go. So surely Listen, you have to give so it a go. It's no goal. loss to you, is it? You cat till it's not really. <laughs> What I'm about bleeding. little Gandalf, mini Gandalf over here? Taking him for years to grow that. Hey, you saw how long ago before, mate. It grows fast. <laughs> anyway, I, I, you should see. I mean, I look a knob now. You should see me without any facial hair. Christ. Uh, you look about 12, uh, don't you? No, I don't. Well, I might do. No, I no, I don't. I, I, I don't want to say, you know, but yeah. Looks like a giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> Even though his head's the size of an actual baby. Imagine me with like, my size head with a fucking mustache. You lot are off your heads. Man, you've got a fantastic. Up. You've he got a fantastic register. He must there, be on a register. Right? Look at him. Look at him. He's got one of them stupid bloody milk tashes. Get him get him locked up. <laughs> now you've got to do it because you've built a lot it. Up, fucking, oh, yeah. A lot of people grabbing me and throwing me into a chuffing cell. Don't that Jay, happen, do, do it. Uh, Jay, do a poll in the comments there and uh, let the fans decide. Smarty has to do it. Like, yeah, I'll do a poll. You have to give me a minute. Yeah. I'll Tell you what. Run to the old Tell what. I'll, I'll, I'll have a moustache if you shave your head, Gail. Me? Wow. <laughs> me, I'm not fired. shaving my head, man. Well, fuck I've got it. A, so what's the difference? I've got, a, I've got a head like a bucket, man. It goes like that. It's not happening. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> He's got an head like a big toe. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like it, I, I definitely look like a thumb. You know, a thumb that's had PlayStation for many, many years, and it's like weird. It's all that's what it like with a shaved head. You to know beards podcast. Jesus Christ, says Andrew. Oh God, yeah. I, I, I've, yeah, I can't grow a beard, man. Can't do it. Right. Not that anyway, I can't. Yeah, ball or a wall. Anyway, should be like smarty. Join less of this beard nonsense. Connor, the Connor Roberts. Day. Connor Roberts Day. No. Now, we're going to put this out. Not even this. Both, both answers know, are going to be it, yes. What, what is it for? What have, we, what have I been hooked into? What are you trying well, to like, get me into? You? I don't even know half of it. I'm just going to have to shave your beard off. I've about five or six of my mates go, huh, you've been roped into this, haven't you? I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you're on about. It's well, a bit crack, I've got to bear all. It's just not going to happen. Like, it's it's like it's you not a team player. For one day. What are we doing it for? I don't understand. Just for a crack. Just for a camaraderie. 
bit of bit of a laugh, you know. You miserable bastard. Yes. I yeah. think Christmas is horrible around yours, isn't it? It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. I don't believe it. And, anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the actual game. Uh, right. So we oh. all went in his usual spots. Uh, what did you guys think of it? Were you, were you disappointed, Carl, to come away with just 2-0 or were you more a case of job done, don't care what score was? Uh, going off my old uh, prediction there, I'm a little annoyed that I, I didn't come away with five points, but at the same time, I'll take three uh, actual points and um, be happy real with points. that. Yeah, yeah, real points. It's because Bad Smarty points. has taken 10 years. Oh, right. sorry, I just want um, because uh, Mark Harrison said it's taken me 10 years to grow it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, it's valuable. A strong wind and it blows off. Yeah. Well, man. you know. Go on, I, look like Patch, I look like Patch Adams with when I try and go a beard anyway. It's ridiculous. Um, Might have been right. Yeah, no, I, yeah I, I, I enjoyed the game on, on Sunday. I thought... Um, Millwall didn't offer an awful lot. I'm very, very, very surprised that Cooper managed to stay on the pitch for 90 minutes. I thought, Jesus Christ, how's he done that? Like, um, I think everyone there was, that. yeah, there was maybe four or five different scenarios in the first half where he could have gone. And yeah. to say the linesman was about two feet away from Terrible. the first incident and not a thing. Not even a free kick that Nanto will get. I just, I, I that just, were unreal. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. John, Johnny's made a valid point, and I actually quite like one of the names that he's used. Watching Baradian Cook today, and I don't remember half the stuff, Luke and Gurley. Um, I Luke think it was Gurley. I think he means Gilly, but he says I, Luke and oh, Gurley. Oh, yeah. That, man, that, that were gone really. I was, I was baffled. <laughs> Is that an absolute <laughs> fucking mess? <laughs> Gilly, for fuck's sake. That's his name. He's even now. got it wrong there. He's <laughs> Johnny's typing on the phone. He's got the thumbs. Johnny's syndrome. about six cans of shipyard in already. <laughs> <laughs> only ten Come on, days. Johnny. Um, but anyway, back to the game. Yeah, um, <laughs> the, the, the referee and was was it left a lot to be desired. But the ref did start firing out a few yellow cards, kind of not lose total control of the game. Mm. Um, Hmm. To be fair to him, I think he he, he did all right. Uh, yeah. We've had far worse refs, like, but yeah. just that that linesman, uh, he didn't do him, he didn't do the ref any favors whatsoever. Like, so hmm. that kind of stuff can can get in the bin. But overall, like, I thought, geez, you know, it's um, it was a good performance. I think yeah. it was one of those. I don't even think it was a grinding it out performance. I think it was just a professional performance where. Oh. We showed what we've got, and uh, I thought it was yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Now it's probably one of the least stressful games uh, I've I've been to this season. So to say that when we're playing Millwall is is something. Yeah, I mean, we did you think their fans were surprisingly shit, Smarty? Did you expect more from them? I, mean, I expected more in actual numbers um, as well. Well, you no, know, because you never get that many. From from Millwall, you, we never have done. You know, we used to sing. You, you must have come in a taxi to them a lot yeah. of the time. You know, and it, and it goes back a long time as well. The, to be fair, when when we used to have less people in the stadium, I think they actually brought a few more. Um, yeah, but it was notoriously difficult for them. I know that they used to have to collect their uh, the tickets from bloody uh, service station. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, back yeah. back in the day. This is after. They used to get I, ferried there and back, didn't they? And like they were on and off at train, and they couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, when they used to sit them in the cheese wedge. Um, away fans, I mean, I think they smashed mm. up. I think, I think the last time, I think it was about two thousand nine. I could be wrong. About two thousand nine, mm. I think this, they ended up smashing up a load of their own buses. The friggin' idiots. <laughs> um, yeah, which is why they now started using obviously the uh, the, the, the the West Stand, and they get yeah. ferried in. They get ferried in. But it looked yeah, like they were more police than friggin' the actual Millwall fans um, on 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 Sunday. Well, no. I, the the su surprisingly very annoying or more annoying than I remember them because all you mm. hear is a, yeah. it's just a constant like shut the fuck up. You know, it's just it's just like it's, having a fly around you. What it's you irritating you know, as hell, so isn't it's, it? It's just it's horrible. It's horrible. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind a bit of you know. I mean, obviously you get your, your standard Jimmy Savile sort of chance. Of course you do. Yeah, shit. I don't mind that. You know, if it's, you know whatever. But just a constant uh, like them boo voo zailers or whatever they were called back in the <laughs> World Cup. It was just a constant mm. drone of shite. 
And you look at them, and they, they all look like they've they, they've got about fucking six quid to the names. I mean, you, you just you <laughs> have to look at the clientele. <laughs> and know, yeah. on the bike. Well, but anyway, you've seen so yeah, you've seen were... that mob from their podcast, haven't you? That I showed you, um, representative of uh, who they are. I'm, I'm going to have to bring it in, aren't I? I'm going to have to show show people that. I don't I don't like to uh, take the piss out of fellow podcasts too much, but I feel like this deserves a special a special mention. A special a mention. Second. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. You can't yeah. do that. Do you know? Man. Apparently, uh, one of the lads I play football with on a Monday, he said, "Oh, smarty, I, I saw you on uh, on Sunday in, in thingy." But did you see that table of Millwall fans in Weatherspoons? I went. I didn't see any fucking Millwall fans. No. Not a single. Where? Apparently, there were there were a big. T- apparently, there were a big. T- where we were? In Weatherspoons, where we were. Didn't that, you, didn't you say there's someone the at bar? Didn't you say there's someone at bar with a Cockney accent? I didn't. Somebody it did. It might have been. It might have been one of others. Like others might have said so. Yeah, but maybe. then again, we get we get we get fans from all over the place. We do. We got know, big glue, haven't we? You know. Yeah, exactly. We're a big yeah. club. You know, we got we got players from here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, you know. They were, here, we, here we go. Family club of the year. They are all ex- this is, family club of the year. This is a Millwall podcast, and this is this is what you guys <laughs> could have if you didn't have us. <laughs> you know. Yeah. If you didn't have us, I um, It's like it gets worse as you go. Is there from a right child in there? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> there's a child. I could just imagine that guy with the glasses on the left, like kicking off. You know, you <laughs> want some style wheelstone. I mean, there. you look at that. I mean, obviously, we're no fucking oil painting. Is that with Jesus? We, Christ. we don't we, pretend. There, there's do about three brain cells amongst all of them. Brightest lad looks like that fucking kid. I can read. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. wrong accent. I can tell me D and me B. He can oh, count God. to ten and he can read, lads. Get him on. Jesus. <laughs> but um, th- yeah, what a wow. wow. <laughs> um, I saw something with some of their fans. They seem to think that the officials were on our side. Yeah, yeah. We seem to be hearing a lot recently. Well, getting the worst <laughs> officials that we've seen. So, I mean. There was the Nonno incident where I was, I'm still not entirely sure what happened apart from the guy dragged him down and then tried to keep hold of him yeah. and let go of him. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and, that's and there's, exactly there's what people, happened, yeah. There's people saying he should have been off, should not know. He should have been a red card. He shouldn't have been on pitch to score that goal. And I'm just, I'm baffled by that. I, I, I saw a tweet. What... Go on, mate. Sorry. Uh, I saw a tweet, um, someone retweeting that video. And they were trying to say, I like that Cooper spat at Nanto. <laughs> they sp- uh, they spat him. Yeah, but I I watched uh, it over and over again. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Then I think it was just someone looking for, you know, shits and giggles or whatever the case. But shits yeah, and sorry. Yeah. It just yeah, it, it, it doesn't make any sense, does it? How can you look at that and think that Nanto deserved a red card? I understand their point of view. So. Uh, when Nonto, however, I, do, I, I literally don't know how this happened because Cooper dragged him to the floor and he was on top of him. Yeah. Somehow, a man half his size has, has, has flipped him over, still yeah. not whilst, you know, like fucking praying mantis, this number 15, number Cooper. Yeah. Absolutely massive <laughs> compared to compared to Nonto. He's ended up yeah. underneath him, hanging, hanging on to him, and Nonto just like basically used his whole forearm to like get off him. Now I, yeah. I suppose if you were that way inclined, that you might think that that was either a strikeout or whatever. But it certainly wasn't. Mm. It was just like a get off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And thankfully the officials must have. It was a bit like uh, Muhammad Ali thing. standing over. That, it, I can't remember who, 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 which boxer, but that thing, Joe Frazier. What it uh, with Joe Frazier? When he was stood over him, and then about four uh, Millwall players came in and started shoving him. I thought, you fucking shit house cowards. I- and do you know what I liked about it as well? Nanto just walked away, whereas last year away, he'd, yeah. have, he'd have got up in yeah. the face. Like, and I, 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 I think said, that's... Yeah. I actually Go said on. to lads, lads who were stood next to me, I says, we need to get him off now. Because at that point, I thought, mm. his head's gone, and he'll end up getting frigging sent off. Luckily, You thought they were just so. going to keep at him then? Because that's it. You know yeah. what it's like when he loses his head, Nanto? As soon as he loses yeah. his head, he's thinking, you know, it's like a bloody a red rag to a bull in it. So I thought, yeah. oh, this could be a bit tasty. But he pulled yeah. his out of bag, you know, he, and what an effort for his goal. I mean, Christ on life, it was a right little bullet. Uh, really, yeah. really well taken as well. You know, he tucked inside himself and he just whipped it straight into, you know, bottom left or mid left. Oh, it, it were a hell of a strike. Un, unreal effort. That. I, I remember because I'm sort of in the wedge, so sort of side onto it. And I just remember the way the net, like, bustled in the back when it, it was like it was going to go through. Do you know what I mean? It was so powerful. 
There were no here's keeper question, saving that. Here's a question many people will want the answer to, actually, Jay. I've just oh, seen right, it. It, okay. was Bryn, it was Bryn Johnson. Oh, we're waiting for this. Oh, we're waiting uh, for this. Bryn Johnson is in the comments and asks, <laughs> I wonder who's taller. <laughs> really not to our Jay. Well, I don't know. The well, how tall is Willie Nonto supposed to be? I don't know. We need, we need Probably to taller count. than you, Jay. Huh? In fact, do you I, know actually, I don't think so. How, how tall are you, Jay? I, I'm like five foot Be seven, honest. five foot eight, somewhere in between. You, I think that he's five foot six, not no. If you're five foot seven, my oh. fucking big toes three Bring foot. a fucking tape measure, mate, and you can measure, mate, it's fine. <laughs> I'll let you see me cock, too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two for it's one, you can do show. Both. It's a bloody family show, man. <laughs> It's not even <laughs> fucking hell. It's not even oh, past bloody watershed oh. yet. Christ, no one wants to see that thummy little no. thing. <laughs> no one even wants that image, man. Don't speak about Willie Nonto like that. Jesus. Horrible um, bastards. I, can't spell. I, I want to know the answer to who's more intelligent, Bryn or that collection of Millwall fans that I showed. I reckon it's a close Oof. run thing. Like all of them together against Bryn? Like... Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I could see why you'd wonder that. Yeah, I think it'd be a close run thing. So, the match anyway. I think I've uh, worked it match. out. 1.74 metres is roughly 5.6 foot, I think. We'll okay. give him 5 foot 7. So what's Willie? That's what I mean. That's what, that's, that, is, that is Willie. So you're oh, saying okay. you're 5 foot 7, so he's probably about the same size as you. However, <laughs> I'm not inclined to believe your height, actually. You don't have to, mate. You can I'm measure going, me. I'm going to Told bring you. a very small tape measure next time I see you. And I will, Does, measure, uh, I will be the independent... You do creator. that. You do that. Does Bremner's ghost stand anywhere near you, Jay? Does he? <sighs> <sighs> I'll tell you what. Yeah. I, 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 just, tell, I, I don't know why I bother. I into the secret about what... When you absolutely threw a proper wobbler when you arrived on Sunday... Who? You're oh. a knobhead, you. <laughs> You're a knobhead. You so can Jay, tell him. Uh, you can tell him. In, in, as, as customary as this is, Jay was uh, fashionably late, and uh, he rocks in about half an hour after everyone else had got there, and because we were sat at a six-seat table and there were six of us, obviously we had to find a seat somewhere. And the only one I could find, which I thought was more than suitable for James, was a little high chair. So imagine the scene. He walks in. There's a high chair waiting for him. Sat at the end of the table. We're all having a go. <laughs> and he fucking threw his rattle out. Don't you speak to me. I'd had a really bad morning. I'm not happy then, with you. Oh, I'd had a really bad morning. And then I get there late and I walk into that. I was just, I could have picked it up and hit you with it. Could have cried. I were, I were that upset. I were yeah, that I upset. Bought, I nearly bought you a frigging fruit shoot and all. You'd have been, been wearing it. You'd have been fucking wearing it, mate. You'd have been fucking wearing it. That was absolutely fucking priceless. But anyway, I we're here to talk about football. Anyway, football. <clears throat> we're not talking about your eye chair, Jay. I hate you a lot. You don't. You don't. Come on. It's fine. Come together. Anyway, so apparently, you know, officials are, are all on our side and uh, moo, they're all, you know, they think that they're playing 12 men and all that. I thought they were garbage, man. They didn't, they didn't come to do anything other than try to frustrate. And we knew they'd do yeah. that, didn't we? They were just they were coming to try and do what Huddersfield did and break the game up, get physical, wind players up. And they were just to say that they'd been on like this little run and they'd won some games and that, they looked shite to me. I they think they'd absolutely kind of tried to mirror the, uh, the the Huddersfield blueprint of trying to just cause, you know, just cause, cause trouble, yeah. Just, you know, yeah. interrupt our flow of how we want to play. Um, but unfortunately for them. They had a couple of moments, especially in the second half when they tried to get back into it a little bit. But, you know, right right from the off, they played quite a high line, which I was really yeah. surprised at, actually. Um, but we, we didn't make that much because they were being, uh, you know, as they are, they were, they were ruffling us mm. up, they were kicking us, they were dragging us, they were doing whatever they could to disrupt yeah. us. Um, mm. So, yeah, I mean, but, you know, deservedly in the end, I think our quality shined through. Shined? It did, yeah. Shone, Shone. through. Um, our <clears> strength in depth is nothing to be, you know, you know, laughed at. I suppose you know it's shining through now. I mean, you, you know, we've got Nonto scoring goals, and then we bring on Daniel James, and he's and he's, you know, he's more than up for it now. He's such a good player. He's contrib contributed he so is. much this season. Mm. I saw uh, something earlier that said his last season with us, he had eleven goal contributions, and he's had nineteen already now, and still eight games. Um, Dan James has played thirty-four games, twelve goals, and seven assists. Mm. He's That's putting in a hell of a shift this season. 
He's in, and and he's well, like I say, I mean, Willie Nonto has played thirty. He's only got two assists and seven goals, but he's got he's scored some cracking goals as Nonto. Nonto yeah. plays in patches, though, doesn't he? And he 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 was off it, wasn't he, from when all that mm. shite happened at the start of the season? But he's well, you could you could yeah yeah, but you can tell that he's he's making the effort. He's trying to get back where he was, and he's getting there now. He's starting to look like that player again in the last couple of games. Yeah. The thing is, you say but, there that he has patches, like, but he's had this patch since the turn of the year. This is the thing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been, been better this year. Yeah. Patch this whole <clears throat> calendar year. And to say that he he was he was barely getting a look in, um, you know, around the start of the season for various reasons and whatnot. But he was out injured as well, and he was only getting bit parts. You know, yeah. any time we were playing, you were looking at him and and. It was more a defensive role that he needed to play, and he wasn't uh, yeah. wasn't able to showcase what he can do really. But now he's had the opportunity to start games, and it was only because Dan James went out injured like that. He, he's he's had this opportunity, but he's taken it, and he's he's really really running with it at the minute. And I think we're starting to see. I think the Nanto we're seeing now with the way he's tracking back, the way he's pressing mm. hard, he's actually you know he's doing it for the team rather than an individual basis. I think. I think Absolutely. this Nanto we're seeing now, regardless of the division he's in, I think this is the best Nanto we've seen, in my opinion. I think this really? last turn, this this turn of the year, okay, and this that he's on at the moment, I think the effort he's putting in. I think, obviously, I said everything there, tracking back. There's no, there's no, you know, childishness out of him really at at the moment, and that's that's <clears> something that I think is is testament to Fark and how he manages players. So. I love me continue for Willie to be fair. Like he's he is on a on a very good run. I I tip him to maybe get to the ten or twelve goal mark now at this stage with with few games to go. Like yeah, probably. He's just I been consistent surprised. though, hasn't he? His, his performance has been consistent, like you say. Mm. You know, mm. he, like last season when he can't. Well, he just burst onto the scene. You know, after everything mm. that we were yeah. given from March, saying that he wasn't ready to play in the Premier League, and all of a sudden, yeah, he, yeah. He was like, Holy <laughs> shit! Where's this guy come from? Suddenly, you know, he's the best we player we've got. And it was, it was it was the highlight of the game. I mean, we, it was obviously, you know, I, I don't have to tell this to you guys uh, and everyone watching. You know, it was a drab season. It was a horrible season. But it was one of the only, you know, little shimmer of silver lights that were, were that were there that were worth watching. You know. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, what happened over the summer happened. But he seems to have pulled himself together, and I think that's down to um, obviously those <coughs> behind the scenes at, at Thorpe Arch and Daniel Fark and his team. You know, we, we've yeah. steered him onto the right path again. I believe that he's got rid of his his, uh, his agent, and he's got a new agency behind him. As I, yeah. I believe yeah. so. I, I don't know whether that's gospel, but apparently that's true. Um, I was sure hoping Russell that would end up being the case. That, but, uh, I was hoping that would be the case to, because he was his agent were a knob. Well, yeah. Didn't he have the agent that Zaniolo had who fucked him over? Him yeah, with I think the same dude. Yeah, yeah. Got him to same force dude. his way out. Were it Roma that he yeah, forced so. his way out of? It was, yeah. He went it to, was, uh, yeah. he was meant to be going to Newcastle and then he ended up in Turkey, didn't he? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. His... Just oh, obviously a knobhead. So. Shame, really. Zaniolo's a very good player. Like, it's just a shame you have a knobhead for an agent. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? The, you've got to yeah. choose these things wisely, and the young lads at the end of the day, sometimes you're just going to be unlucky at you and come across the wrong person. But yeah. the fact that given, he's given got rid that, of him and stuck with the club says a lot. Give, mm. Given the situation that we've got with our strength in depth or whatever, it depends on how, yeah. you, or how far you want to look into it, the fact that he's managing to balance both Nonto and James at the same time, whilst giving game time to Anthony as well when he's bringing him on, you know, only for maybe, you know, mm. slight cameo, you know, yeah. appearances or whatever. Uh, Piro, obviously, you know, it was probably not a right lot to be said about him and his form, but he's still a good attribution. He's still a good player to bring off the bench. You know, he does exactly. look tidy when he plays, you know, especially in games that we're definitely on top of. You know, he's, he's a good player to have. And you never know, he might pop up with a goal because he has, <laughs> he, you know, he's a really cool camp finisher, is Piro. Um, yeah. Somerville, Somerville, Rutter, you probably argue they've gone off the boil slightly, but like you say, you know, the perf the performances are still there. Those those two could play shit for 80 minutes and then the last 10 come up with something absolutely magical and win you a game. Mm -hmm. so Ruta, Ruta keeps doing that exactly have, that, though, doesn't it. he? He keeps coming up with something. Even when he has a bad game, he'll suddenly do something and it'll lead to a goal. 
And you'd probably say that he's not had the last, the, maybe the last two or three games, he's maybe gone off the boil, but now we've all obviously <clears> been told about this this uh, hernia issue that he's been yeah. playing with. So, yeah, yeah. you know, that that's kind of like, oh, that's why. I mean, and that's, he seems that's to be proper. running himself into a lot of danger a lot of the time when normally he'd be flicking himself and turning himself out of trouble. He has been getting caught in possession a fair bit more than he has been throughout the season. Whether that's, that's that, but that's that, another that's another side before self thing, isn't it? He's played on because he's not wanted to. But he's absolutely qualified. Miss out you know, or and you know, let team down. To assists at weekend. You know, boss, yeah, yeah. I think Somerville's been similar as well in that he's he mm. seems to have stopped running at people as much. Like I don't know if his ankles knackered or something. Like I've heard stuff about his ankle being taped up, but I don't know how true yeah. that is. But well, he, like just, he, the... he seems to be waiting for people to come to him more than he did before. Like he, he, he got hammered against... this weekend. He looked better this yeah. game gone. He got he kicked about the place out. against against uh, Huddersfield and Sheffield Wednesday as well. Like so, yeah, we have to take yeah, that yeah. into account. He, yeah. like that rake down the back of his legs against Huddersfield. Oh, like yeah, that, yeah. that's a sending off straight away. And, and, and like if you know, regardless of VAR or not, the referee has seen Pure that. He's that. like. But that mm. that's going to have a knock on effect, and like you were saying with Rutter as well, we 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 only found out there today that it, it's a hernia that he's been playing with for however long, you know. Yeah. Um, mm. but even to say that the performances he's been putting in, like, have been absolutely phenomenal. And... Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You'll still get a seven out of ten out of him, but it'll look like mm. a bad game from him by his standard, but he'll still be decent. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, You're right, that's yeah. <laughs> Just bump me knee. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been tender, that one. <laughs> Kill that. So um, I just want to go uh, fire up a comment here from Nige D, and it's something yeah. that I've... Um, <clears throat> Big Nige. I, 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 I've talked about on previous Nige pods. Nige with a D. Nige D. Nige at the end of it, D. Are you um, going to bring it up? Yeah. So I'll it's... Keep uh, telling us about it. Non if you shut the fuck up for five minutes and let me talk, I'll talk about it. Um, Nanto to replace Rutter at 10 uh, if he's not back in time for the Watford game. Uh, I, I have been banging the drum to put Willie in that number 10 role for a long, long time now. And I think I think that has to happen on on Watford away because then, then we can bring in Dan James and Somerville on the wings. Yeah. But Nanto in that 10 role, I think there was one or two uh, passages of play against Sheffield Wednesday in particular, where he found himself in that role, in that in that space, the 10 role. And he, he played uh, Somerville in for one and he played Rutter in for another. And they were lovely balls. And Somerville, yeah. the season he's having, you, you really would have expected him to finish the, the through ball that Nanto put in. But I think Nanto is one of those who can find that little that little space to play that them killer passes as well. Now I'm not yeah. going to heap too much pressure on the lad now by any means, but he does have that in his locker. And I think that would be the change I'd make. I wouldn't rush Rutter back because I feel Willie is as capable in that 10 role as, as Rutter would be to, to be able to do a job. The thing he's about fit, then he's deemed fit though, isn't he? If he they're not going to play. Well, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Out. Yeah. yeah but if he's, then he's available, yeah, but if he's not a hundred percent and and they need to make that change, that's that's what exactly we, what, what I do. What, what are we what, having? What are you doing there? What we got? What's, huh? what's the tipple? <laughs> what's that? Aldi, Aldi, Aldi special. It's all back. It's all back to front. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah. <laughs> attempting to read that back to front, Christ. It's Might it's it's right. called uh, Rhinebacker. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Line okay. linebacker. No, Ryan Backer. I know, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Fuck it, Al Cal. Um, yeah, that was, that was <laughs> yeah. But the, the, I was going to say the thing about um, Willie and the 10 would be that he'd get more of them central shooting opportunities. And Willie's one of them few players that could score mm -hmm. a few Pablo esque goals from that sort of position. Yeah, he's lethal enough, isn't he? Like, and and mm. he's, he is starting to show it a little bit more and more now as the seasons. He's, he's like, he's. The whole squad at the moment have just peaked at the right time, and oh, the players that we wanted to to start playing well and and getting those goals and bits and bobs like that. I think it's it's just it's all kind of culminating in one giant push towards the end now, and I think everyone's in the same boat now in relation to they're going to give a a hundred and fifty percent every game, and and regardless oh, yeah. of who's playing, you heard like Connor Roberts as well. Talking about how he doesn't care how much he plays, he just wants to play and put it in there. Yeah, and absolutely, yeah. 
I think is it was he said that he wanted to break the opposition when he came on the pitch or something <laughs> to that effect. That's what I like um, to hear. Yeah. yeah, that that's the kind of stuff you want to hear. But and David, he'd been dying attitude. to get a red card on Sunday. <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> he'd been chomping at the bit. I want to go and break someone. Ugh. Just get on and yeah. smash them there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we, if, we'd what, love what, him for it, but be pissed off at him at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. Can I ask you, Lars, what did you think of Bamford's performance on uh, Saturday? It was, it was. I thought it was shit on Saturday. I thought it was all right on Sunday, but <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> if yeah. I'm honest, I, I can't remember a great deal Sorry. of it. Um, I just remember thinking what's it was in that, quiet. What's in that linebacker of yours, lad? It's a it's, it's a, a voice beer. Percent or it? Well, it's only. Right. It's only that five and a half percent of five percent. <laughs> he's, he's drinking a bottle of old man piss. It's actually very <laughs> nice. You should try it. Your uncultured um, palate. I I won't. <laughs> I won't. Thanks. <laughs> but, uh, you'll be on the shipyard before you drink that, won't you, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I I've lost track now. Yeah, Bamford. I I thought he were quiet. I didn't think he did a massive amount, but he's probably knackered, man. This is. Most amount of games he's played. He's not bloody nine days off. He can't be knackered. Yeah, but he's delicate, isn't he? I don't know. I'm just trying to find reasons, I, I guess. It was, just, it was just a tidy performance. It was just a consistent, dare I say, a, a very Leeds performance. Just a, like, yeah. You know, just just a, a quietly consistent, controlled, very mm. just, you know. It's just it's what just what we've, you know, grown used to under, under FAC. Yeah. You know, just these consistent yeah. performances. We've set a stall out. We're just going to be tidy. What was, oh, I wonder what we're going on about the script. It's just me. <laughs> if you could have written a script for this season, obviously we had a bit of a shady start, understandable. But <clears> to <throat> get now within eight eight league games at the end of the season, with us being top, having just pipped the uh, the people who had won the the, the, the league back in you know, November, yeah. being seventeen points of in front of us, of course, at the uh, at the end of last year, New Year's Day, there were seventeen points. We've meant we've managed to claw them back in, go above them, going into an international break. That has got to have some kind of mental, or oh, some sort of goings on at the Leicester camp. Absolutely, mm. mentally, that's got to be a challenge for them because they're going to have to sit that with that for you know with, mm. for, with it for two weeks. Whilst You'd think so. International <clears throat> duty or whatever. It's time for us so. to regroup and, and, and to obviously refresh. I mean, summer, obviously, um, there's a big game going on on Thursday. Four of our boys, uh, four of our Welsh lads against uh, Glen Kamara of Finland. Yeah. I think that's for uh, <laughs> a place at the Euros. So that's going to be a tasty game. I'm definitely going to be watching that. But, you know, a- apart from that, there's a few internationals here and there, but it's a good chance for the guys to recoup, you know, do a bit of relaxing. Um, and, and, you know, we've got, f- m- well, eight massive, massive cup finals now. Just to, keep, right. just to keep that consistency, just 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 keep going. I mean, when you look at the stats, man, from this, not not just from this season, but for, especially this this year, so 2024, I started looking to the stats today, and I just I could have written about 15 pages worth. It's just yeah. mind blowing. Just all the records that have been broken and just like, yeah, obviously, seven, we're not about the 17. I'm, I'll, I'll briefly, I mean, people have probably heard this, and I'm sorry if I'm boring you, right. but here we are. No, it's it's all right. Right. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have a chat about the running at some point, but you just carry on and we'll, no, we'll, fine, no, fine. we'll, we'll start out. now. Um, <laughs> we'll cut, we can't cut it out anymore. We, we, we don't pre record shit anymore. That's true, yeah. yeah. Um, only team not to have obviously lost this season that's this season. It's just an incredible <laughs> amount of home form. Um, mm. undefeated in 2024, 13 wins in 12 games. And we've got conceded the least amount of equalising goals this season, which has been three, which I didn't I know. That, yeah. I found I that saw that. New one, so. mm. um, that's in the mo- that's in the top four tiers, by the way. That's not just our league, of course. That's the top four tiers. Three goals yeah. conceded, least amount of equalising goals. In 20, 2024, we've faced the sh- fewest shots on target. But we've got the lowest XG against, the fewest big chances faced, most clean sheets. Um, fewest goals conceded, fewest goals from uh, open play, and ten clean sheets. Twenty-one games unbeaten at home. That's mad, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely, absolutely crazy. Just, 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 but th- these are just like the, obviously the top stuff. Oh, Cal, are you, you typing a novel? On, 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 on. Yeah, man. Fucking Can't hear Smarty talking down, for you. Fucking Can't typing away. Fucking writing all the messages. <laughs> 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 says the man whose mouse is nearly going to jump down the fucking camera. Like, sorry. 
I don't know what's even, going on. He's, he's moved himself so. now. Oh, anyway. Yeah. He's a professional outfit. <laughs> Apologies yeah. to everyone that's watching. Um, no, we're going to talk more about all We're going to talk more about all that smart in a bit, but just uh, bit. going back to the, the game for a second. How long have we on for? We've been on bastard fucking 40 minutes. Christ. That's okay. Because we, we don't do it in a rigid way when I'm hosting. We just flow through and do what we do. So I just want to look at the penalty incident that wasn't because so many people, Millwall fans and all that, no, nah, it's not a penalty. Uh, but, you know, I'm not having that. What do you think you got, about this? You got need to the face. That's a if, penalty. Look at where the ref is. Look at him. Well, he's not in that shot, obviously, because that's the one I fucking picked. See, I but don't know. Look there. Look at him. Oh. He's mm. near. Like, look where the ref is. He's come. To, he's, he's looking come right at it. He's, he's come towards the ball there. I'm not being funny, Ray. I, I understand why there's a shout for it for the penalty. But if I, if we were to concede something like that, if we one of our lads got a penalty against that, that I'd be absolutely furious. They've both come together. Rodon's turned into him, and he's just like that. Yeah, his knees high, but Rodon's got his head right down. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit of. But even if he'd not need him in know, face, they'd just need him in chest or body. It's, that's re- still a did foul. He, did he knee him in the face though? I mean, it's soft. If he I has. think it brushed him down here. Even if it is, it's the fattest. But he still need him he's not, he's across here. In. If he'd have gone Ugh, and you'd have seen his head jerk or something like that, you think, fucking hell. You know, like you Mate, do see some stuff. You've seen possibly, people get penalties given against them for the slightest touch. That's a, a penalty for me. Personally. Nah, he smashed him. I think smashed him for me. It'd be a bit of a soft penalty to concede that. V- Vardy got a softer penalty against Hull two weeks ago. <clears throat> Yeah, but so, the, the standard of the refereeing in this league is absolute dog meat. So I can understand garbage, like. why it would have been, but I can understand why it wasn't as well. Hmm. In my personal opinion, of course. Well, I say bollocks to so, that. That's why the ref gave fun. us that free kick off the corner because he knew he'd fucked up. Well, my can you imagine? He's in line with the referees. So I hang about, know, hang about, love. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if they'd scored while Rodon was off the pitch? By the way, from that the would have gone down well, wouldn't it? There'd have been a fucking riot. Oh. Carl yeah. would have been on pitch, you know, nobody would have been safe. Just like turn into an absolute lunatic. Absolute <laughs> lunatic. Yeah. Pitch invader and all sorts. Yeah. Did you see the size of there? Number six, by the way, centre back. Yeah, he was a bit of an he, animal, all right. Wasn't he must he? have looked big even to you, smart. Don't know. I thought that 15 up there, there, Cooper, no, number 15, looked quite a sizable chap. That centre back, yeah. I thought they're just going to be banging balls into him, set pieces all game. But but the referees are doing us a favour. Leicester twelve pens seeds seven. All right, we'll uh, we'll wrap this section up. We'll just uh, have a quick chat about Dan James's winning goal, and then we'll move on. Um, but what do you guys think of that? I, I like the fact that he um, seemingly had an open goal, decided to wait for everyone to get back in front of him, and then scored. Um, I'm going to be honest. My arse nearly fell out when he took fucking ages to get that ball. <laughs> Honest to God, where I was standing was, I was like, just, just hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> we all Did you were, say it so we calmly were. and collectively, like, oh, were you, were you screaming? Absolute. Oh, no, I was absolutely losing my mind. That was just a PG version. What do you think, uh, Smarty? Were you, were you shitting it? Were you thinking, uh, he's going to miss this and they're going to equalise? Because that's what happens, I, even I, though it doesn't happen anymore. I think I was squinting, to be fair. <laughs> I, I'd had quite a few beers, What's going if I'm on? honest. <laughs> my Where is it? Best. How far my away is he? I stopped best on freaking on the best of days. Uh, Christ, I'm like, oh, what's going on? But I did see him obviously. And I thought I thought he'd actually taken a shot and it had come back to him, but I didn't realise he was stopped. He'd stopped and were waiting for an opportunity to shoot. So, but yeah, mm. obviously I just saw it and I'm like, yeah, obviously, you know, <laughs> enthusiastic. A bit like that, that, yeah. So, woo. Um, jazz hands. But yeah, yeah, jazz hands. The jazz hands were out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no. It, it, to be fair to Dan James, to, to stop there and be so cool under pressure like that, with three blokes throwing themselves around on floor, and, you know, in front of him, crackers, yeah, it? Fair, fair crackers. But he's been so efficient this year in front. He's of so goal. composed. You know, he's uh, he's hit a completely different level, hasn't he? This year, this season, Bielsa must be watching that, thinking, why couldn't you do that when I put you up front? Well, he's not a bloody <laughs> striker, is he? Jesus, he's not. He's not. He, he's always put a shift he, in when asked, hasn't he? He'll do. He'll he'll run through brick walls for the team. You know, you can he clearly will. see that he he loves the club and he enjoys being here. You know, I can't 100%. say that I want a bit gutted when he left last season because I mean, well, 
There are many, many questions to be asked about last season. It's probably better that we don't. Probably don't yeah, that's that absolute. We shit. ain't got time for yeah. that. But um, yeah, we're quite good to see him gone. But obviously, we got Nonto in, you know, on, on the in, in return. So yeah, Fair it kind enough. of worked out in the end. Well, it didn't work out in the end because we got relegated. So. And who would you give your man at match to? Ooh. And who would the but, uh, people in the comments give it to? I'd give Better. it to Georgie. Two assists, you know. I'd, he uh, yeah, played his balls off. You know, he'd, he'd, he's been playing with. I mean, obviously, with hindsight, we know now that he's been playing with a hernia. But you know, even though even though that's happened, I'd still give yeah. it to Georgie. I thought he played really well. Ooh. Mark says Kamara. Kamara, Kamara was solid. Yeah. 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 Ooh. How was you, Steve? Didn't mean to bring that one up. The ref, most influence on the game, says Michael Pollard. <laughs> Steve Brown, Rodan Ampadu, Liam says Ritter. Andy Ellis says Ampadu. <clears throat> Ampadu, Kamara. It's a, it's a mixed bag. It's all. It seems George to be around Gino. the same There's set of players, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's quite a few. There were a lot of good performances, but it's what we've become accustomed to now. You know, we're, we're, we're used to seeing these these players having really, really good performances and everyone just being we consistent. Are. And even the players that are impacting the game later on, you know, Connor Roberts is coming on and doing well. Dan James obviously impacted the game as well. You know, and even Anthony and and, the, and even the players that are coming on and going off and, and you know, they, mm. they're all just playing well. Fortunately for us, we've got a squad that are all playing well we've got no yeah. one really that's you know not really doing stuff i mean even desi even piro he wasn't playing badly he was just not very effective in a lot of the games you know and yeah. I, i've always said that you know when you're facing a position you know a position like you just feels that we're gonna you know stamp on you beat you to death you know literally you know practically you know hung drawn and quartered to the side of the frigging pitch you know wednesday the same yeah we'll try to do, to do all that sort of stuff as well piro goes missing Bamford um, relishes that, doesn't he? Bamford likes a bit of rough and tough. He enjoys it. He enjoys it. It's one posh boys that likes a bit of a scrap. Yeah. Out back at yeah. bike shed. But Bamford's movement's just incredible, you know. And to yeah, say it's... he's not scored that many. I mean, he's only. How I many has Bamford scored this season? Yeah, he's got. He's scored seven. So he's not. You know, it's not to be kind of snuffed at. But um... hey, to say most of us thought he'd never score again for Leeds, it's not a bad. Not a bad return, is it? <laughs> The goal against Wednesday, something out of mm. nothing. You know, Junior yeah. Firpo, another another player that's really turned up this season for us. You know, mm. given last year that a most, you know, definitely myself included, would have literally driven him to the air. I would have paid for his flight home. <laughs> please, please leave the club and please never come back. Um, he's a good lad, top he, lad. And he is, he's quality. You know, going forward, defensively, school's still out on that one. Uh, you know, I'm still not, you know, I'm not naive enough to think that now that he's had a good season going forward in the Championship, that he's going to be an absolute whiz kid in the Premier League. Should we get there next season? Because I don't. Um, but for now, he's, you know, he's doing the, he's doing the business. Uh, and yeah, he's, he's doing he's, the job, he's, and he's, he's been really effective, and he's and he's contributing. He's making assists. I think um, five assists. I think this year for Furpo. Something like that. Yeah, he's looking for a great. Back, going it's pretty decent. I mean, it's no Leaf Davis, obviously. <laughs> Cal, you muted. Are you doing that on purpose or? Yeah. Okay. I was, doing, I, I was doing some open. kind of stripper linebacker. I was just wanting to quickly ask you, your man at match was, so we can move on. Um, I would probably go with either Ampadu or Willie. Fair enough. Either one. Cool. So, All right. Well, this is an I'm going to uh... from Herbert in the in, in here. Herbert says. There was a question before about which player would be the best wrestler. Bamford, for me, so many tricks up his sleeve. Go on, then. Quickly round the room. Who was the best wrestler at Leeds United? Ooh, fucking hell. Uh, I'm just going to go for I, Willie because he's little and angry and he'll just be flying off at top rope. And, yeah. I, I'd go with Piro because he looks like he might be deadly if he got in a bit of a scrap. He's one of them lads who's quiet and all that, and they're the fuckers you have to watch out for. Looks like somebody out of French Foreign like, Legion or something, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just comes yeah. in with a flight in <laughs> Yeah, oh. yeah. Like, it, it, it could be, uh, you know, uh, Lionheart from um, that Van Damme film. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Skip is there. literally speaking, speaking for me here. I, I think Daniel Fack. Daniel Fack. What, man at match? No. no. Wrestling. Best wrestling. <laughs> yeah. I bet he put his head in a ponytail, <laughs> comes out in his little kind of line string vest, all oiled up and shit. That's it. And then he, yeah, war pig says then, then, he, well. then he, then he would lay the smacketh down. The gaffer looks hard from war yeah, I bet pig. He's hard as fuck, Daniel Fark. I won't want to yeah. slap him. Softly spoken, but will kick your hole. But my second That's chance, like it, like it a... had to be. 
If Black it had to be assassin. a player, it'd be Rodon. Definitely. Okay. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Connor yeah. Roberts is a good shout as well. Yeah. That's a good shout, Bremner has got. It'd be shit. old school. It'd be old school. Tashing first. Tash yeah. first. Yeah, he's like a proper, like one of them boxers, isn't he? You know, one of them. Yeah. Yeah, you have one, one of them singlets on that goes with Tash straps on. right down and then bottom out. Tash and brill cream. Bit. Yeah. Bastard. That's it. <laughs> it sounds like you're describing Rab C. Nesbitt there, lads. Give the lad a chance. Yeah. <laughs> smell string of piss vest. Well, yeah. Smell string of piss. Right. <laughs> Oiled up string of vest. Smells of piss. Excellent. And on Top that though, I'm going to fire through these comments and move us on. Good. Uh, yeah. go on so we've got a few from our lovely contributors, and we do appreciate those. Keep banging them in and give us a, a like and a subscribe. You know, keeps Carl, you know, from being homeless. Um, Bryn says uh, odds of 25 to 1 on. Smart is brewing up. That's before the pod, I think. That's why we relate. I will give you. Up with a cup of tea. Uh, one out of two points. I wasn't brewing up. I'd actually gone to fetch my brew that I left in the kitchen. But that's not the reason why we were late. I'll have you know. What's the reason mm -hmm. why we were late? Cal were late. Okay. Uh, Arthur Bushby says, uh, Ruta playing with her for weeks. Wow, top player. Absolutely. Side before self. Bryn says, Ref really doesn't like Rodon. Just say that again. Mark yes. Edison says, Utensil and Girly Show next week. <laughs> 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 it took me a second, that. It took me a second. Uh, Andy Aylor says, That assault on Rodon by Cooper was Stonewall Pen in the Red. So stick it, Smarty. Although I didn't say there that last go. part, that was just me. Tony O'Shea says, He was terrible. I'm going to take it that was the ref again. Mm. Uh, Bryn says, yeah, It's some... sometimes helpful if whoever's starting the comments actually uh, provides a little bit of context. Yeah, Carl. but let's. It's hard to do that when you've moved on. Oh, really, an, an absolute tit. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, well, the, the general consensus was the ref is a dick. So <laughs> yeah. We seem to still be in that subject area. Everyone's a dick to us. It could have been absolutely <laughs> anybody. might have even been That's talking true. about me or you or That's Jay. True. We don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Bryn Johnson says, uh, same to what we gave a road on them soft yellows at all. I remember that from Joe's ref watch ah, before, yes. and she was saying about him being a useless twat that yeah. screwed road on. Uh, Johnny Brown, I've never been so relaxed watching a routine win. Hmm. I'm glad one of us were relaxed. Uh, Nige D says, Cooper deserved five yellow cards on his own. Yeah. Stevie, easy peasy, says, bullshit, lads. In caps, that referee couldn't be placed better than Rodon's smash and handball. Hmm. I think he was saying that the ref should have seen all of it. Um, oh, yeah. He really but, wanted to get but they were useless. Did Stevie easy peasy? He did, yeah. And sometimes yeah. that's got to be done. I have to shout at you two sometimes. Uh, Tony O'Shea says Lino should have just done his job. Absolutely. He didn't do anything, <laughs> did he? That guy. This, this is anything. a point, actually. <clears throat> I started this message and I wanted to say this, right? But what is the point in calling a referee, a linesman, a referee's assistant if he doesn't fucking assist the referee? I didn't call him a, an assistant or a referee. He's just no, there, isn't no, 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 but I like, called that's him what many the things. Many, many things he was called on Sunday. But, and not but one that's of what they're referred to now. But they assist fuck all. But no, anyway. That's right. Yeah, uh, War Piglet says, Farkas team moving through the gears, top manager and coaches, MOT. Can't argue yeah. with that. Mark Edison says, we have all forgiven him for shite before and he's in love with us again. I think he means Nonto. But the whole squad yeah. are bonded, all happy, playing with a smile on our faces. Absolutely. Bryn Johnson, also singing uh, Nonto's praises, says he's been quality since Bristol away. And Paul Brennan, always with us. Connor Roberts is good at shit shithousery. Just wants died. to win at all costs. He's, still here. No, he's, always, he's always with us on the pod. I realised it sounded like after I'd said it, but I'd said it. He's always it with us, lads. Yeah. <laughs> One for me, homie. One for me, homie. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't, I, I couldn't undo it once I'd said it. I just, I just know. I hope you'd just let us move yeah. on and know what it's saying. Paul, I hope you're all right, man. Oh, Paul, you're all right. Sorry, Paul. Jay's already fucking. Oh, God. This is why I don't host anymore. I don't know what uh, I'm doing. No, uh, right, okay. Host. So, we can... <laughs> all right, Pete, Paul. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, I've lost oh. it now. I've lost it. Quickly now. moving on. Quickly moving on. I'm trying to, but I just can't find the video now because I can't see. Uh, right, okay. Hey, oh, that's got a shit tick this week, my little spatter fact. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Whatever you got a shit take for us. I've got a couple, if not. I think no, no, because they, they weren't shared in our little private pod chat. Where yeah, we're, we're good enough. Those. Yeah, go with them. Forget mine. But, okay, let's feel do like this. Technical then. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've done enough of that. You've turned up. We appreciate that. And I started messages and shit. So you know. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that true. yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> so the first Star- one we've got <laughs> starring in old bollocks is Carl. Hey, yeah. every little helps, mate. Every little helps. <laughs> so Facebook strikes again on this one. I think we all know Leeds United Facebook groups are a bit special. Um, this person says, why does Farker play Bamford over Piro? Piro, Piro. Piro? First reply, because Farker has no idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like Josh Driver. But, Go on, yeah. Josh. Josh. At least Josh the is there. Ball. We're top of the league, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Josh well, being very polite. It's so bland, <laughs> isn't it, Facebook? Well, I think you've got a bloody it's, you got a sponge. It's terrible. It is Take terrible. that, you cabbage. You know. It's a cesspool of society. It called all sorts on Twitter. It's savage. Oh, yeah. You're getting called yeah. a sponge and a spoon on them Facebook. It's all full of dads, in it? It is. <laughs> Next one we've got is uh, Richard Harris saying, Sky Sports leads say it's a penalty. Even though the leads play lost control, yet they have forgotten oh. that the goal scorer shouldn't be on the pitch. So another one who wanted Willie Nonto sent off. I had a couple of to and fro's with Mr. Harris, actually. Oh, did Twitter. you know? Okay. I did, oh. indeed. How did that go? Oh, very well on my part, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you at all to me uh, in any way. Yeah. Has Richard yeah. deactivated? Not yet. I think okay. I'm blocked. But, oh, okay. Uh, that, means, that means you've won. It was a successful. There you go. The last one is a video clip, and I think it's kind of the same take, but I'm going to play it anyway just because it's funny. Where was going to be, and that's where it had to be. He's not going to compete with them going toe to toe. We set up to be compact, be rigid, consolidate, uh, frustrate leads. And the referee and linesman definitely helped with that latter one. They were all for from both sides, referee and linesman. Um, and that's all leads beyond to their goal. It's a great goal. But it should have been a red card, in my opinion. Should have been a red card, in his opinion. He like well, buddy, he's like a big Lou. He's a, a wish. He's a wish, Big Lou. He's like Big Lou's yeah. Millwall doppelganger. We need to like get That's them together bad. sometimes so they can have a confrontation. Do you know who he looks like? Did you ever see that really weird Wolves fan where he's just that big lad and he's oh, it's t- I can't do a oh, Birmingham yeah, accent. Yeah. He go looks like him. Go on, no. try. Give it a go. Go on. Go on, do it. Go on now. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely oh, you not. will. You will. Absolutely not. No, I won't. I won't. No, I'm grand. I'm grand. Thanks. <laughs> so which do one it. do we think is the uh, the shit take there? The oh, red card. Two of them are both the same thing, basically. They're all equally really. as bad as each other, are they? I mean, it's they are, to be fair. <clears throat> it's that close, much... it's not even worth a poll, because they are all, all terrible. pretty much thrown in their, uh, their hat in with, the, with all of them, to be fair. They were even, I believe I saw someone going on... Um, saying that Don Goodman was biased towards Leeds, um, and he's clearly doing things to himself um, over <laughs> the United, and, and and the reply is obviously from the Leeds fans, as you can guess, were pretty much, uh, you, you know, what have you been sniffing? Have you taken something, any kind of nar- narcotics today? Because obviously, as we all know, Don Goodman absolutely hates the bones of Leeds United. So that was oh, quite was. funny that a few Millwall fans had got but claims there, to be a Leeds fan. fan. Yeah, Leeds fan from Bradford just as well. to be a Leeds fan. Yeah, yeah, absolute yeah. knobhead. Anyway, uh, right. So I think we're just declaring that a a draw for those shit takes out because all pretty much as Mark bad as each other. here with his with his stats. Oh, go uh, on. Matt, he says, "Get this stat, lads. Less have only gained one point since they played us. That's Damn, bonkers. Man. That's insane. We bonkers. broke Leicester." Oh man, we break now he gets to teams, tell people man. that we broke the team. I love it. I love telling them that we broke them. We break most teams that they, they exert so much effort like playing against us yeah. that their next we game they them. absolutely cabbage. Like Huddersfield and Wednesday, we prime examples teams. there. Huddersfield went yeah. out and got absolutely spanked 4 0 then Timmy by Mallet. Ipswich. Who's Timmy Mallet? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the guy with the glasses, isn't it? Timmy Mallet looks oh, like yeah. should win it, he says. Yeah. Oh nice. God! Wish Big Lou. <laughs> um, right, so there's there's no next game to talk about. 
at the moment because no. we've got like nine days or whatever it is now till Watford. So a lot's going to change between now and then. People are hopefully going to be fit and rested and we're going to be back then for the running and we've just got eight games left. So I thought we'd have a little chat about that. We won't chat too long because we've run well over just chatting bollocks tonight. But <laughs> what, what <laughs> do you change. think, Carl, about this uh, this running now? That Can you believe that we're down to just eight games, single figures, and this is it now? Well, we only have two more games to play and then Farka can look at the table. So <laughs> He doesn't know we're top. Yeah, he doesn't know at all. I have no you idea. Couldn't, you couldn't tell by his reaction after Dan James' <laughs> goal that he, he didn't know we were going top there, like even when we were singing it in the stadium. But at least he'll be able to have a look at the table and uh, be like, right, OK, I can assess where we're at now. But I, um, I, I'm, I'm delighted, man. Eight games to go. Top of the league. Like some people were saying that the, the break has come at the wrong time for us, but I think it's come at the perfect time because yeah, it gives Leicester, Leicester two weeks to mull over the fact that they're not top after being top pretty much. What was it? 157 days of the season they've been top and now they're not. And to say that we've clawed back a 17 point difference in 63 days is absolutely phenomenal and i think like yeah i think psychologically that has got to absolutely hammer them i'm sorry like it it, well like i don't know yeah i don't normally agree with international breaks coming at good times but i think this has actually come at a good time because it gives us time to evaluate rudder a little bit more you know there's bits and bobs that need doing and I think I think it's been uh, I think it's been absolutely savage now up to up to this point and and the break has come at the right time for us psychologically. Connor Cody has already come out and and said that he knew once we got a goal back against them at Ellen Road that the crowd were going to get us over the line. That yeah. that's like that's like that's as bad as your man uh, for the Southampton manager coming out going, we've been on our best run for twenty uh, blah blah years or whatever. And we still can't shake off Ipswich and Leeds. And you're like, yeah. you don't say shit like that. Keep that to yourself, you absolute fool. But at the end of the day, it's no detriment to us. So keep carry on talking, lads. Keep it going. We just need one of the uh, Ipswich players or management to come out now and say, oh, we don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> you're just exposing weaknesses in your armour then, are you? Like I said, there's just little chinks in your armour. You can clearly tell that, you know, our form and our performances, etc. that they are actually getting getting to these managers and getting to these other players and stuff. Whereas we're just keeping our heads down, looking like we're just flying, absolutely flying, enjoying this football. Yeah. Uh, you know, do you know what? Fark is just remaining calm and collected and, you know, just steady away and everyone else is losing their fucking minds. You know, you've got yeah. Breska saying, oh, it's just one more, it's just one more game to us. Oh, smart. To I was going to say know, that. Stupid shit like that. Farker you know, would never do that. No. No, they won't. You can just you can just see, you know, as far as I, we are the form team, we are the form team in this league. Hopefully, yeah. like you say, you know, this, this international break doesn't hamper us uh, and that we can continue this, this form going into uh, the last eight games. But looking at if, if we if we finish first after the form that the, the, obviously the less, I mean, Leicester, have, like you say, unbelievable form from them. Southampton, unbelievable form from them to go unbeaten for so long. Ipswich doing what they've done, going from the, obviously, you know, from promotion last season from League One to, to how they've performed. That's off to them as well. You can't knock them. Three fantastic teams plus us. It's There's never been a season like this. And no. I can honestly hand on heart say this is probably one of the, one of the most enjoyable seasons I've ever experienced as a Leeds fan. If not, 100%, yeah. I won't say the most because I really enjoyed it under Bielsa. You know, but those were different times. And, you know, it's a completely different setup, different manager, different team, blah, 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 blah. But it's just so nice after the two shit seasons that we had in the Premier League, scraping survival that you know, obviously in the year before, and then the absolute you were just turning up for the sake of turning up because you bought a frigging ticket last yeah. season. No, yeah. I, I mm. certainly felt that way last season. I, I did. just an absolute I shambles. To go into this season, to have a bit of a rocky start, we were a little bit all on edge thinking, Oh shit, what's gonna happen? We didn't know what were happening with the club because obviously, you know, Rads had done whatever he'd done and you know that the, the stadium issue that he'd put it up as, as uh, equity in the in the sale of the of Leeds, sorry, in the, oh, in the yeah, sale yeah. Of new Sam Dory is it that he's bought. So, you know, all the chaos at the start of the league. We didn't have a manager when the season had started, we didn't have a team, we had everyone wanting to leave. It was just absolute chaos. To say that we've got through that, we've come to the other side, we've got eight games to go and we're sat at the top of the league. 
we deserve more than anyone to go up after after all that. I don't give a shit mm-hmm. what anyone says. To, to to do to to get the form that we've got to claw seventeen points back off Leicester, who had fucking said they'd piss the league back in fucking November. Dickens yeah. in Southampton saying that oh now that saying uh, sorry now that LUFC are out of the picture or everything you know it, there's so many fucking tweets that have been flying around this weekend you know bookmark tweets from from all sorts of people from here there and everywhere just going to show that people had written us off as little as two three months ago. Yeah. To be where we are now is an unbelievable achievement. And Mate, should, I remember all, saying all on the here, team should be massively proud of themselves. I remember saying on here, we're not going to get auto now, it's gone. We're too far behind. I never in my yeah. wildest dreams. And we always we said would. to you, fucking I never thought we'd call it back. I never thought you, you, we'd call it back. You'd Thank already you. accepted defeat I had. when we were 17 yeah. points behind. And yeah. I always said to you, I said, catch second and worry about first afterwards. Look what happened. But hey, do you know second. what? If I say something like that, I'll I'll own it, not like delete any evidence of it. But, no, no. Um, I know. Yeah, you know, no, unlike some, so. but uh, yeah, I mean to to go from where we went from, and uh, Stevie wants to send us some. I'm not sure what, but gifts are always gratefully received. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, to go from where we were when we were labouring in those games against Wednesday and Cardiff at the start of the season, we had the Sinistera shit, we had the Nonto stuff, we didn't know who was staying, who was going, we just found out. Everybody were leaving for nothing, basically. It was just chaos. And to be where we are now, I just I feel sorry for Daniel Farker because when he looks at the table, he's going to think we were up a month ago and we're 20 points clear. He's going to have a shock when he looks at it and probably need mm. to sit down. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Andy Elo here says, uh, we'll be top, Ips bitch, second, and Leicester Ips lose bitch. in the playoffs. If, I tell I'd, you what, I'd love it. If, 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 Leicester lo- if Leicester don't go up automatically... And they lose in the playoffs. They're absolutely foobar. And, I don't and, know if. Go on, sorry, mate. Sorry. No, and, and the fact that they've got the likes of Harry Winks on eighty k a week in the championship, they're apparently, they're in big big trouble if they don't grow up. Vardy's still on over 100, 100 grand a week. Yeah, really. They're in big apparently trouble. So. Jesus. Yeah. Seeing, Barely this, plays this now. He plays about half I the games. I cannot wait. I think I might frame the fucking thing in my toilet actually. Go on. I don't know if you can see that. It says first isn't a done Down deal. a bit. That's, it. That's in my Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, first yeah, yeah. First isn't a done deal. He quoted my tweet after I'd said that obviously first isn't a done deal yet. But obviously, as you said, we're out of the picture. That was in response to the Saints guy. Oh, yeah, first yeah. First isn't yeah. a done deal yet. <laughs> laughy, I, face, never... laughy face, laughy face, laughy face. I can't I tell you... fucking wait to tweet that twat next, uh, in the next few weeks. I tell I've you never what, enjoyed being out of the ha- picture so much. Oh, yeah, the terrorists okay. are going to have an awful amount of cool mugs to be making, so they're... <laughs> well, I tell you what, the way like Smarty Gilly and Luke tweet at people between them, we'll have our own. Yeah, that's true too. Pretty <laughs> fair. Just, yeah, we can have our own line. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we could. Yeah. I mean, we have to be careful, obviously, because the, yeah. the season's not over. That's why it's still remains in my bookmark, and hopefully, I will not yeah. receive any egg on face. Yeah, well, nothing's day, decided yet. We have to remember I that. Sa- I but... said that it's between us, Ipswich and Southampton for second place. I did think that Leicester may have had it sewed up, but like I said in that, I said first isn't a done deal by any stretch. This was back in, back in October, November. You know, Michael Brown it? reckons Vardy's on 140k a week. That's insane. Christ on a bike. That's what you were saying, it, Carl. They are financially fucked if they don't go up. And they've got that 10-point deduction looming over them if they don't. Because if they go up, they get punished by the Premier League for their financial irregularities and if they stay down they get punished by the championship or the EFL. This this They're is like their the um this is like their sliding doors moment, isn't it? Yeah. If they if they go up they're all right. If they don't they could get like half the team disbanded. Dewsbury all be gone. You know, Vardy oh. will probably jack it in. Do you know what we should do? Mavadi the if, other way. If winger, they don't go up gone. if they don't go up, we should snatch Dewsbury Hall off them. Oh God yeah that'd be amazing. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Just to wind him up, to be fair. (laughs) But yeah, he's he's very good. I'd take him. He's he's a lot faster than uh, I actually gave him credit for. I didn't think he was as fast as he is. He's proper rapid. Like It could be a squad player for us. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, Bryn's put in it. Um, He's put Pereira as well. Yeah, yeah. I like Pereira. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we all think that we're going to go up auto then, it's safe to say. We're all like, not we're all like this. Hope. Hope. Yeah, no. well, you know, we're not naive enough, to, we're not yeah. naive enough okay. to throw all our fucking, you know, that's yeah, that's a better word. Or whatever. 
You know, because so, we're not, well, that, that's stupid, are we? But you know, given not. the form that we've we've we, we have, I given am. the run that we're on, the trajectory that we're on, you would like to think that automatic spots are doable. However, if it doesn't happen, then we'll have to play it by ear. But you know, if Absolutely, we, if we yeah. don't get promoted from autos after the run that we've been on, it'd be an absolute friggin' travesty. It'd be painful. So, but it would Mark, be very. Don't late. ruin it for us. <laughs> All right, just, just don't he starts with his tash bloody conversations as now he's running uh, his dreams as well. We're gonna have to, you here. Potential we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to mute him again. We're gonna have to mute him again. <laughs> like Brent. Um yeah, I mean I I'm I I I think that we're gonna do it. I really do. Um, oh you do now, that's, do you? That's from having gone from thinking it were gonna be playoffs. But I did think we'd get up if we did go through the playoffs. Just, I'm just gonna just, finish us off with a um, um, no, I'm, I'm, I think that the way we're going, I think it's going to happen. But you always have it in the back of your mind; it could not because we're leads, and so that's why you, you don't know. say anything. But yeah, I've said it. I'll do the talking. But I've also said, you know, that's I know the, I know the a, possibilities. A, 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 an array, reams. You know, like them old old school bloody uh, accountants that used to have the coloured visor and the fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got my book oh, yeah. like that. With microfiche, hundreds of them, <laughs> hundreds of them, just just ready for end of season. It's going to take you like a full week, isn't it, to get through? I will have them. weeks and weeks of fun. If Excellent. you go on, um, if you go on to like Shopify or something like that, you can make a little small book of all your bookmarks and sell it can to you? Leicester fans, or just, or just, just send thousands of them to to bleeding the Walkers fucking Chris Stadium or whatever it is. Send thousands of them there. Just thousands go well, here, lads. Pamphlets, drop them from Yeah, the yeah. Island. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our knee, boys. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to afford that. But, you know, where I the, like the idea. I like where your head's at. Where the yeah. comment from Skip saying whoever drops points first out of the top three could be a disaster for him. Easter weekend is going to be huge. It is. Can't argue with that. I think that's exactly yeah. what it is now. It's, it's too old to nerve at this point, isn't it? So mm-hmm. I'm just going to finish us off on this bit by going around the room, the virtual room, uh, just to see who you think would go up with us if we went oh, up. Come on. So I think that Ipswich will get top two, personally. Who do you think smarter? You don't even, do you know what? You don't even have to say Leeds are going to be you know in what? there, I'm but just say who 18 I think. that you think I'm not going to say there. who I think because I think that's, it could be anyone. Realistically, it literally could be anyone out of the top four. I would like Ipswich to go up, I think. Even though all fans from all the three teams have been giving it big licks and giving us some right shit over the course of the season, I think given the task that they had, the fact that they're rubbing shoulders with the three teams that got relegated from the Premier League last season, I think they've done exceptionally well. And hopefully they can get it over the line and and enjoy some fruitfulness from the Premier League. I'm I'm not tempting fate, Bryn. I'm just being hopeful, mate. It's nice to be optimistic. He's right. It's been though. a long yeah. time. He's right though. It's yeah, been a long time. Fit, I'm just That's being right. optimistic. I'm being hopeful. I'm not the only person who said it, so you can blame someone else if it all goes tits up. Carl, who do I you know. think might be a, an automatic team, with or without us? Just pick one. I'd Would like to like see to Ipswich. Okay. Just because I think Leicester need a lesson in self discipline. And Cheers, and uh, yeah, I'd like to see Ipswich and ourselves because oh, I think it's a bit of positivity, Alison. That's it. I yeah. think uh, <laughs> I think Ipswich have been out of the Premier League long enough now, and I think it's um, I think it's their turn to go back up. You know, it's nice to see the old clubs getting back in, isn't it? From it, from the it, start, yeah, it's like the know. early nineties, bar yeah. Swindon ever getting back up there. It's 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 I, looking okay. <laughs> I don't think all... Swindon, Oldham, or Charlton are coming back anytime soon, but you never know. No. Not no. that I'd like to see Hull in the Premier League because fuck Hull, um, but that is definitely <clears> an outside <throat> chance that Hull are playing very well at the minute. Mm. So a Coventry just, actually, Coventry are yeah. a, a sneaky, sneaky bunch, and Norwich as well. A just few... uh, on that hole, uh, if they do go up, at least we can all go around to, to the Brown Hall and and get loads of beers inside us before the game. That's it. That's it. We'll uh, we'll yeah. have a podcast we've, party at Johnny's. Yeah, we've already invited ourselves around Johnny on the off chance <laughs> that hole might go. Up. <laughs> Absolutely, it's a done deal now. All right, yeah. cool. Um, has anybody got any other business they want to? Talk about Hull won't make playoffs. Mm. They're one of the most informed teams in the division at the minute. Yeah, Johnny, they're 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 looking good, man. 
This is a man who fell asleep at his Chinese meal. <laughs> Suck your Chinese meal <laughs> at the weekend. Democracy manifest. <laughs> and had to wash his hair when he woke up at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can't believe you just outed him online, you bad yeah, he's funny. He's one of my mates. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Actually, he, he said it himself on Twitter anyway, didn't he? Fucking hell, lads. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning with a plate of Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> One of the lads picked him up and he said, you know your judo well, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what a clip that is, man. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. All right. No, nobody else got anything else they want to tell us? Or... No, I think we've waffled on enough. We have. We've been um, long tonight. It's been fun, though. It's been a nice chat. Just before we do go, um, us absolute gombeans are going walking the 16 and a half miles doing the mural uh, walk for Andy's Mural? Man Club. Are you sure? Muriel. There it's you go. the oh, Muriel. Muriel. <laughs> Muriel. Um, and we're doing it on Saturday. I think we're starting like 7.45. So if you say uh, noodles and curry in my ear. No. <laughs> uh, that's Johnny Brown, by the way. Um, not me. Um uh, so yeah, uh, you can go to the Andy Man Club uh, page um, on Twitter, and there's a link there for any donations if you can afford it. Obviously, if you can't, any retweets and uh, shares on either any socials like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They're I'm, on everything. Um, I am dreading just, it. Yeah, and if anyone wants to make it like London Marathon, so like we're walking along street and you like stood there holding pints out for us, then. That'd be good. We'd, we'd be happy with that. That'd be great. We'd enjoy that. I'm, I'm going I, I to bring a Bluetooth that. speaker cans, to keep us motivated. Of Jesus. Skull only. <laughs> Some red yeah. Hey, red stripes. We will, be, um, we will be documenting the day. Um, we will. If you're not following us, if you are on social media, of course, but you are not following us on Instagram, it's at Autono Better, and we'll be doing some live reels and all sorts of stuff throughout the day. I'll, I'll probably be taking yeah. piss out of Jay, you know. Yeah, and Carl, probably. Yeah. I'll oh, be moaning sort of, about my knees. Yeah. 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 So, um, Bremner's ghost awesome. here. Uh, link, please, Carl. Not on Twitter. Um, we'll try and link uh, it into the description. On YouTube for yeah. you, uh, Bremner's Ghost. Are, just so are, you, on, you, can, are you on? Are you on Instagram, Bremner's Ghost? Yeah, if you're on Instagram, At be on there as well. I'll chuck, it, um, in. I'll chuck it. I'll chuck it in description for stream. Yeah, or... Jay, I'll stick it in the description yeah. for your Bremner's Ghost. Even if you can just give a share of it, there it'd be absolutely I've brilliant. Got appreciate it. I've got that power. But yeah, it's going to be sounds. a good crack, and it's going to be obviously it's for a, a just cause, a well worthy yeah. cause, and his man yes. club. You know, we're raising money, raising awareness, going around all the murals, and it's going to be very, very good. I did say murals, obviously. Yes, you did. In homage, in homage to you, Carlos. Why? You're uh, the one that got it wrong initially about two and a half years ago. It were you, you fucking absolute It wasn't me, you cock it was, bean. It was Mad it Adam was. that originally said Muriel. All right, then. Oh, was it? It was. It's just. All right, that's his, we're both in a sub That's his legacy on this pod. The Muriel. I swore it with Carl. Anyway, I'm, no, I'm sure it was Adam. Me. I'm sure it was Adam. Muriel. I'm sure, I'm oh, sure. Gilly, Gilly will find that, man. Gilly, it definitely Gilly, Gilly, will, Gilly, Gilly will. Gilly will know. He'll have, yeah, he'll it, he'll have it written down somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a yeah. That segues us nicely in, into the Andy's Man Club graphic, which I'm hoping is a current one. Yeah. What date are we on? Yes, it's current. Uh, so Andy's Man Club <laughs> leads the March schedule. On Friday the 22nd, they will be doing the pool night at Northern Snooker, starting at 6.30. Uh, on the tables upstairs, they ask for small donations to tables, but it's not essential. So if you're a bit hard up or you're not sure if you want to really get involved or whatever, but you just want to turn up and see how the land lies, you know, there's no pressure on you. You don't have to put anything in if you can't or you don't feel comfortable. But get yourself yeah. out. Good do. Good set of lads. Uh, and Sunday the 24th, Correct there's so the Barber awesome. Club at W2 Barbers on East Dilly Road from 11 till 3. Come down, get your haircut, have a chat. It'll be like the Barber's Shop on uh, Coming to America. And yeah. uh, all proceeds are going to Andy's Man Club. And there'll be more stuff in April. It's good ah, to talk. Excellent. Don't keep it's... it in. Yeah. Right, lads. It's been emotional, as always. And uh, I don't think there's anything more for us to say after an hour and 18 minutes of waffle. So... I'll thank you both for joining me. It is. And we will be back. Um, We might have a main pod next week. But we'll have a build up to Watford anyway, so we'll definitely have a main pod next week. But obviously, there'll not be a B and C. Um, We won't be covering internationals. We don't care. Thank you very much and good night. Toodaloo.